What's up guys, we're all here with the seat shop and today we're gonna to be going over how to check your seat heaters um, on your GM vehicles three to six with the multimeter. Um, I know we get this request a lot over the phone. We do have a video showing you how to check them with the heaters themselves that you purchase, but this is a quick way you check with your meter at home. Uh, the bottom heater, which is the bigger of the two, is pretty easy, it just has two wires. So you just take your leads and you put one on each. And then your meter should read for the bottom, it's gonna read around three, three to four, I believe. And we're getting 3.4, so that's good. Um, on the bottom one, anything over five usually means it's starting to go out, okay? And on the top, it's a little trickier. What you're looking for is the gray plug. You're looking for the black and the yellow wires. And that gray plug usually found on the outside, okay? So we're gonna take our leads and set them on each. And then we should be getting, there we go. Should be getting something around five. Generally, it's going to be like 5.4, 5.5. There we go, 5.3, and that works. Um, usually on the tops, I think anything over seven or eight is going to be too high. Um, again, it's kind of difficult to check with the with the meter just because there are different situations. For example, if you sit in the seat, maybe you lose contact. So you want to try different scenarios if you're still getting good readings, but your seat heaters aren't working. Uh, but it's a good way to start. And if you have any questions, always feel free to reach out.